Hey, hi Kim. Haven't seen you in forever. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hi Ashley. Hi Austin. Hi Declan. Hi everybody who might watch. <laughs> I'm going to do an interesting tutorial, I think, because I haven't done a natural look. Well, it's not even, I've done a naturalish look, but um, I'm basing it on the two Avon compacts I got from Ashley's mom's store. Um, this blush and this very neutral um, eyeshadow quad. And I haven't used the eyeshadow quad. I've used the blush, um, but I'm using them together in tandem. Um, and also, I'm going to test drive this foundation. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous and um, a couple of the uh, beauty ladies that I watch, uh, gurus, say this is a fantastic foundation. I believe I Love Faces 1049 loves it and um, Cosmetic Junkie, who is in Australia, loves it. I'm going to use it with my beauty blender, squish, squish, squish. And it says that all day flawless uh, coverage, lasting power of primer, coverage, and concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one, shine free. Um, I hope I picked out the right color. If not, I have my receipt to take it back to my local Walgreens. Um, and let's see if I can get this started. That's a nice pump. <clears throat> froggy, froggy. All right. Oh, it's pretty watery. That's for sure. Okay. So. It's pr oh, I might have gotten too light of a color. We'll see. This might be my pale, my pale face routine. It's really running down my hand a bit. I'm gonna just kind of push that onto onto the the beauty blender and wipe the rest off. Okay. Yeah, I got the wrong color, but we'll make it work somehow. Oh boy, is that the wrong color? <laughs> I got the color in buff beige. Um. got a great texture and a good coverage I will tell you that um, going over my eyelid because apparently I'm gonna be white 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 see my neck is so much darker well I'll need to go to Walgreens then switch it out it's nine dollars at Walgreens I believe either that or twelve ninety nine I can't remember um, I just got it today you think I'd remember you think gosh look at <laughs> I'm so pale. Oh dear. I'm going to have to use a different powder to set it than I thought I was. Um, one that's a little darker. Just to make myself feel a little more comfortable. Alright, other than that, it's got good coverage. I'm not going to use concealer because it's got great coverage. There. Okay. I wish I would have got the right color. I like the texture. And I would have liked to see if I, because I didn't prime as you saw. I wanted to see if it really would work as good as it would. Wearing my grandmother's earrings today. And my little top hat and band to keep my, oh how? <laughs> oh wow, it's really paling me out, isn't it? It's kind of odd. I guess if I wanted to keep it as like a special effect, kind of pale face makeup, I could. I had an active day today with my son. We're trying to replace his phone, right? So, it went, his debit card was a temporary card that he got um, when he was in California for Bank of America with his birth father when he was there. And we never received his permanent card. So, um, when I was trying to pay his deductible from his father to pay for his new phone for, through the insurance company, the card wouldn't work. So, I had to go to the B of A still blending, aren't I? I might just like the way it feels. I do like the way it feels. And we went to the B of A and he had opened the account with only his school ID, um, but he was not allowed to get his money or a new card with only his school ID. So we buckled down and we went ahead and went over to the motor vehicle department. What I really wanted to do, right? I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder on my um, 
setting brush. Someday I'm going to remember what it is. Just to do under the eye where it said it already was concealed, but I don't want it to crease up in my eye. Because nobody likes that. And if you do, let me know. <laughs> and prove me wrong, okay? <laughs> Unless you're trying to make yourself look a little older, which I'm sure most of us aren't trying to do. Okay, so that's set it. I'm going to take my darker compact from Revlon. I know for a fact this is darker. And a big fluffy Eco Tools fluff brush. I was going to use the Ben Nye neutral set powder, but that warmed it up a little bit more. Since I was uncomfortable with the whiteness of the makeup. I didn't feel like being that pale. I didn't, I wanted it to be me. My color. Only me. My color, my color, my color, my color. So we got wet, went to the motor vehicle department and I had his social security number and I had his birth certificate, the original copy, because you can't have a photocopy. And it didn't take long at all, actually. I think we only had to wait with our number in hand for about seven minutes before they called us up. And he went and got his picture taken. He looks very handsome in his photograph. He didn't smile, though. <laughs> Which was cute. Um, and we went and sat with Marsha, a very nice woman. Um, my mother was with us because Eric was at work and I needed to get a ride there. I'm just moisturizing with the hydrating lip oil. Um, and she, my mother mentioned that because she's turning 65, every five years now she's going to have to, um, she's going to have to get a new uh, photograph and license and stuff and do an eye test. Just my brow pencil that I'm using up. I'm just going to brow it in. Anyhow, she's told Marsha while we were working with Sterling to get his ID that she needed to do that. And she's, and so Marsha goes, let's do it. And she took care of my mother at the same time. Um, so she, my mother was able to get that out of the way. And we couldn't figure out why it was so slow. But then we're like, well, maybe everyone's out there spending their money. You know, you never know. We weren't. <laughs> so then it was um, 3.30 when we were done with the motor vehicle department. And we rushed, we're trying to rush back to the bank. Think I thought they closed at 4 o'clock on Fridays. But then again, I think some places close on Sundays. <laughs> Beknownst to me, they were open till 6. But the same little gal that was um, helping us prior to, with the whole debunkle of trying to get a card, um, she was there to help us. She was very sweet and kind, and this time it went off with no hitch whatsoever, which was nice to... You know, it was nice, it was nice. Okay, so, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eye Primer. And Sterling now has his legal ID, which is good. <laughs> I probably should I probably should have really taken care of that a while ago, but I didn't really think he needed it since he had a school ID, but I guess he would have had to have a state ID to get a job anyhow. So now that's taken care of. I should probably get him his passport someday too, but... I don't know when mine expires. I haven't had to use it, but I have it, and so does my husband. And I feel like my son should have one, too. And since it does take so much a long time to get a passport, six to ten weeks, um, maybe I should get that taken care of over the holiday break. I just feel like those things should be taken care of and ready to go. You never know when you have to take an emergency trip to Mexico or flee the border for random things. Uh, <laughs> I'm really kidding. I don't see that ever happening. <laughs> Watch out! Here I come in my Yaris! Gotta get out! Gotta get out! <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the eyeball area. Um, I'm gonna take a flat brush. I, I usually seem to be grabbing this one because it's the right shape that I want the, from Kirkland. Kirkland, if you have any more Christmas brushes this year, let me know. I do like your brushes. And I'm gonna take this upper part of the quad, the peachy peach shade. I think it's pearly peach is what they call it on the back because this quad is called Q201 Sandy Corals Vanilla Pearly Peach Sandy Copper and Chocolate Suede. So again, pearly peach. Oh, it's pretty creamy. Well, it's up on the brush pretty well. I want to do my eyelid. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That works. I do enjoy peach around my eyes because I have blue eyes and that seems to make them pop. See how nice and soft that is? I'm talking to myself again. 
If you notice my addition to my kitchen is the bamboo. I'm not keeping that. That's actually for Wing at the Hung Salon. Um, she, I haven't been there in like four weeks to get a hair wash, face wash, facial thing, or a pedicure, or six weeks. Um, and so she called me because she had asked me for my number once. Just to let because she said that if I ever get another durian fruit, I could come by and she'd let me have a piece of it for my husband since I guess a whole fruit cost $25 and sh there's like enough for eight people in one piece and you know what the durian fruit is, of course, it's that stinky sweat shop, sweat sock, onion, garlic, rotten stench smell fruit from Vietnam and um, I tried it. I could eat it if I had to. Had to. It's sweet enough that you can kind of get through that garlicky, onion, rotten thing, but um, I wouldn't pick it out if I really, really would not pick it out. I'm going to take a smaller seed brush from e.l.f. and with the vanilla, that's going to be my eyebrow up here. That looks nice and creamy. So far, yay, Von Aishas. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, anyway, Wing had called and left me a message saying, Sam, where are you? Is everything okay? You haven't been in. And so I thought, well, I haven't been in. I've been trying to save money. Because, um, you know, holidays. And bills. And makeup. Um, so I thought I'd get her. I was at Ikea and I saw it. And I'm like, oh, I could get her one of those. And just come in and say hi to her. She's a real sweet girl. She's like 27. Her husband is um, ex-army, and they have two little boys. Her husband's at least 20 years older than her, and he seems really nice. I met him a couple times because he comes into the salon with my uh, Sonia Kashuk blush brush. We're going to dive into this. I'm not done with my eyes. What am I doing? Give me back my eyeshadow. I'm just too busy talking and rambling. <laughs> what am I doing? Back to the eyeshadow quad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Brain fart. Um, I'm going to take the mid-tone with my small 217, I say small because it's worn out, and I'm going to sweep that through the upper part of the eye, like that, warms up real fast, doesn't it? It's got a nice satiny shade. But anyway, I thought I'd take that to her and give her a gift. Uh, I don't think she has a lot of friends here in the States, um, and... I really like her. She's very sweet and enjoyable. And I thought I'd, you know, bring her a little present. Same brush. I'm just going to dive into the milk or chocolate suede. This is a mattish color. Tap that into the edge of my eye. Just doing a real quick day look. <laughs> I guess if I wore this kind of makeup during the day. I wear makeup to make makeup. If I want to look natural, I'm naked. <laughs> just kidding. Sometimes you just need a little boom. I think I'm going to wear a bolder lip, though, so that'll cancel out any of this neutralness that it is attempting to become. Okay. So that used all four of the quads. Magic! I wanted to put my blush on, as you can tell, really badly. So I'm going to take my blush brush. Very, very light, but it's nice. You can see it on camera. That's good. So Avon, yay for you. Good product. I mean, they usually have some really good sales, so if um, you get a catalog or you go into one of the stores and they have a sale on it, I say, why not? Buy some. Add it to your collection, girls. And boys. <laughs> They've been around forever, and they support women, and or they support anybody who wants to make themselves um, their own business. I'm going to use um, this Liquid Eye by Milani in 05 Brown. It's not a liquid, it's a pencil. And I'm going to skim my upper lash line. <laughs> I'm going to get on a smudge brush, I think. Not that one my tart one. I'm just going to smooch that in. Hush. 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 
like, and my son actually really likes one. Her grandma owns the shop. Her grandma's name is Ba. Ba. Her dad just moved here from Taiwan with her mom, and I don't remember her mom's name, but they live with her and her husband and her two kids. And um, her her dad's name is Young, and he does an amazing blowout after you get your hair washed, um, and it's really affordable. A wash, a hair wash, hair face wash with blowout and style is $23. But, it's $23 I need to save right now. Huh, Ashley? Huh, Ashley? Huh, Ashley? Huh, 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 huh. I want to go back in with that quad. Never done in life. Never! With some of the chocolate brown and just sweep under my eyelash line right there. Sweep. It's turning out pretty good, I think. I would say so myself, my sister, my sister. I'm pulling out my MAC. Uh, it's called Fasc Fascination Eye Coke. I'm going to do a little bit of waterline with the white. Kim, you might like this one. It's not very waxy. Um, it's coal, and so I don't see, feel a film or anything going through. So if we do stop at the Biltmore, you might want to consider it um, as a waterline for you because I know you get the filmy stuff but and if you don't like it I th you can bring it back they do have a return policy that's really good um, and stuff. I'm going to define my lash line even more on top because I want to put on a pair of lashes I'm coming up to 17 minutes so I'm going to um, I'm just going to stop right here. 